What's up guys, today I'm going to teach you how to do a super cool moving picture effect in Final Cut Pro X. So as always, before we get started, I'm going to show you guys what the effect looks like. Here it is. So there are two ways of doing this effect. One where you simply put a green piece of paper inside the frame you want to use and then key it in Final Cut Pro X afterwards. And then there's a way where you have to use a mask. And this way can be really complicated if your frame or your camera is moving. But of course I'm going to be showing you both ways. So the first method I'm going to show you is the green screen method. And all you have to do is go under the effects and click keying and drag on a keyer. From here, the green inside of your frame turns black, and you can go ahead and place the footage that you want to play inside of your frame underneath it. I went ahead and used my ghost dog effect footage that I created in my last tutorial. Go ahead and check that out by clicking the link right here. So place that underneath, and that's basically all you have to do. Let's go ahead and play the effect. So this way is in my opinion the best way of doing it because it looks very clean, very realistic and it's very easy to do. So the way I'm going to show you now is only good if you have no green paper or if your camera is on a tripod and there's no movement in your shot at all. So go back under effects and click on the masks and drag on the draw mask. From here you want to set four control points in each corner. Go ahead and zoom in because you want to set these corners really precisely. So, set a control point in each corner like so. And go ahead and click Invert Mask. So go ahead and zoom back out. And you might say we're done now, but if we go ahead and play this clip, this box we just created is simply going to move along with the camera and it's not going to stay in the frame like this. So to fix that, what we have to do is we have to keyframe this box. So to keyframe it, you want to go back to where you can't see what's inside of the frame. And then you want to move this box over there. And click this little arrow and say, say add under keyframes. Now we just simply added a keyframe. And we can go ahead and press the right arrow button twice. And move this along with our frame. So I'm going to continue doing this throughout the whole clip and I'm going to fast forward it. So I'll see you in a second. So I've now done it throughout my whole clip and we can now take a look at it. So I think it's safe to say that the first method looks a lot better and I believe you should only use the other method if you have absolutely no green paper or if your frame is standing still and your camera is standing still. So that's all for this time guys. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Go ahead and give it a like, comment below and subscribe. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.